Hello YouTube people, um, I'm just showing you over here my tablet. This is a Galaxy Tab Pro 8.4 and um, I'm just showing everybody uh, how it looks if you're running CyanogenMod um, version 11 and um, the tablet runs super awesome to be honest. Uh, if we go to CyanogenMod updates um, I'm in this version over here, down here, although you're able to see it well, yeah, the bottom one, I have two new updates, um, but yeah, the, the tablet actually is running super fast and smooth, and, um, I prefer Cyanogen Mod 11 than, uh, TouchWiz, TouchWiz, it, it was alright, the new update and everything else is good, and even though the tablet is really fast, which is a 2.3 uh, quad-core uh, processor and with 2 gigabyte of RAM, it's running really, really, really good, to be honest. And in TouchWiz, it runs good, but it's still some kind of lagging. And that's because TouchWiz and all the bloatware from Samsung, uh, even though I took out uh, all the bloatware from Samsung, still was a little bit lagging some other stuff um, that's why I took the decision you know to to put in Cyanogen Mod 11 and it did work really really good I love it um, no major issues right now that probably um, where it will be Google Voice when um, let's say if I want to look for something in uh, in Google um, probably doesn't it doesn't capture my voice really well that's the only issue that I I found in this uh, version of Cyanogen Mod 11 but besides that um, everything works super super awesome and let me show you my apps I've been playing you know games uh, uh, for a while with my Moga Pro controller and all the games you know and emulators they've been working like super super awesome uh, Asphalt 8, um, it looks awesome, you know, and um, some other games like Modern uh, Combat 4, it looks awful, uh, it looks uh, awesome, and even though um, Death Trigger 2, it looks super awesome too. So just showing you uh, how it looks, you know, if 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 you put Cyanogen Mod 11, and um, let me show you the back of the tablet. You can tell it's a new version and everything. Sorry, it's kind of dirty. And sorry about the video, it's not the best, um, but yeah, uh, my case, I'm not a big fan of TouchWiz, um, most of the time I put launchers in, uh, in all my devices, but this time, thanks God, I was able to put Energy Mod 11. A lot of people, they say, oh, why you take off all the goodies from uh, Samsung? Yeah, you have all the goodies from Samsung, probably, you know. You know, remote control and all this stuff, you know, the IR blaster and, and some other stuff, some other things. But to be honest, for what I use it, or oh, depends, you know, it depends on why you use it. Uh, it's not a big deal to take off all the stuff. Uh, for me, it's really important performance. Um, a tablet that is fast, it's not laggy, it's not giving me any kind of crashes, you know, with the uh, other apps. So, but this is really, really good. So... Here you go. I haven't seen another video showing the Galaxy Tab Pro running some other kind of custom ROM or anything else. Uh, so I think I probably will be the first one. Anyways, uh, thank you guys. I hope you liked the video. Um, probably I'm going to upload a tutorial how to do this later on. Thank you guys for watching.